hello everyone hello pirate hi so we are having some slight technical difficulties and by technical difficulties i mean i am switching out crane with uh, omega optimus supreme today just because uh it seems like crane um i think he's s asleep <laughs> um so i'm going to have him i'm gonna call him i hope he's at his computer but <laughs> I hope he's at his computer. He said he can pop on, but it's hello! Hi, welcome to the stream. Hi, stream! You are very loud. Hold on, let me turn you down. A little yeah, bit. yeah, no, I was, I was, I have not adjusted my stuff yet. I was in the middle of that. No, that is totally fair. Hi, welcome. Let me share my screen so you actually can read things. <laughs> That'd be great. Also, it should sound a little less destroying the eardrummy. Yes, all better. Okay, so welcome. You... The pirates in here. Oh, pirate. Yes, everything is good. All right. I have. Do I sound better? Yes, you sound better. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so question. Can... I... What? Oh, yes, let me, let me hop into... Okay, yeah, no, I can totally see you on the Discord. Cool, cool. Good, we love that. <laughs> Alright, so, how much do you know about Doki Doki? Do, I, I do know about Doki Doki. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, congrats. You get to take uh, Crane's place for today and become the senpai. <laughs> Which will be super duper fun. When did first time? <laughs> Alright. Uh, this is where we were, I believe. And you can use the skip button to fast forward through text you've already read. Cool, thanks. There's The skip button is not highlighted. Alright, so, if you don't know... You, as the senpai, get to read all of the narration text and then anything that says Chris, because that is what Christian, that is what uh, Crane decided to name our senpai. So. Okay. Okay. So. Take it away. It's already Sunday. I'm beginning increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous. That doesn't help much. <laughs> oh no, that's not what I wanted to hit. I hit the wrong button. We're good. We're fine. It's falling oh. apart. It's fine. It's fine. We're, we're fine. I wonder if she'll act any... <laughs> I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned into conversation. It's almost a different personality on the phone, using tons of emoji and cute language. As I pop open a uh, sparkling water. <laughs> Crack open a cold one. Hey! <laughs> she also really likes complaining about things. Okay, saw that one go. We're putting Motsky aside. I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said. Is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I decide to visit Sayori before Natsuki comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her, I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door. 
the door before entering it myself. Oh no. I think I know exactly where, where I'm jumping in. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Again, we used to... Not yet? Okay. Not yet. Um, again, we used to play so often that we've made a bit of made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. Transition. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom, where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi, Chris! I sit down in her room. Sayori fosters a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Natsuki today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided about that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? No, huh. that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course! But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Natsuki then? Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. We finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So... Siri smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Chris. Huh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Siori! I grab Siori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh... <laughs> Siori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Chris. But... You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. We're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just gonna make me say it, aren't you, Chris? 
I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I ha I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Oh! Oh, hey! He's, he's lives! He lives! He lives! Hey, I was just standing in for you. If you want to pop in, yes. Uh, if you want to continue, yeah, you got you. You can stay in the call uh, too not... if you want. You're more than welcome to just stay if you want. <laughs> hmm. Let me hold on. Where is the boy? Where is? <laughs> there is the boy. I have created a chat. He is more than welcome to join. <laughs> he is here. Hello. <laughs> welcome. Whoa. Oh. Yo, sorry about that. <laughs> no, that's totally fine. I was just like, you know what? There's a little green light next to Luke's name. I'm just gonna mm -hmm. yoink him <laughs> for a second. Oh, I mean, if, if anyone has heard my J.Y.B. Yuri Lowenthal story, I was just in Yuri Lowenthal. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> well, maybe maybe we can share it. Well, maybe I can do the him talking out loud and then you can do the, the, the narration in his head. Yeah. <gasps> we have sure. a narrator! Um, Yay! <laughs> I'll be narrator. Right. Uh, you'll have to uh, reshare your screen, though. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. you'd have to reshare your screen. That Doki Doki Literature Club. There it is. Guys, guys I got I got bumped up from understudy to main narrator. <laughs> hey. Main narrator! Yay! Alright, anyways, uh, dot dot dot. Yo, what's up? Oh, Pirate's here. What's up, Pirate? Uh-huh. I was taking a drink. Alright, anyways. Narrator. Oh. Oh, mm. Go, you. You want me? I'm in shock. <laughs> I can't even figure out how to respond. I'm in her Chris now. <laughs> how is it possible that Siori kept this from the entire time that I've known her? She really wants so badly for me to... Oh, lag. Uh, just not think about her? Oh, by the way, since you just got here, Crane, um, we found out that Sayori has crippling depression, and that's why she's late for late for school all the time, and she feels like, why make friends, why get out of bed, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, super relatable. You know. <laughs> totally normal dating sim time. I don't relate to that shit at all. I'm great. I'm like, I'm like totally fine. Totally, okay. totally neurotypical. Don't know what totally, you're talking I'm, about. I'm so, I'm so like, okay, you know. It's so like, so good. Alpha male ready for the day. Like, <laughs> the day succumbs to him, bro. <laughs> the like, I don't rise with the sun. The sun rises with me. Exactly. <laughs> Anyways. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, that's me. Sorry. Why, Sayori? Huh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Chris. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. 
It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everybody be happy together is the best thing for me. But then, I discovered something else, too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why... That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> oh, it's lagging. Like, okay. <laughs> You're right. You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayuri. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting. That's what I'll do. No, Chris. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. You streak down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again, once again and grab Sayori's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Ah! Chris! Sayori. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. I make friends with everyone else, and that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care for you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Sayori isn't bringing me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my knee. No! Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Chris, I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, me. Sayori finally puts her arms around me and return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Chris. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But... Your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary, too. 
Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like to, how would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, <clears throat> um uh. It's what I want. I promise. I I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sari wipes her eyes. I could spend the whole day here, and I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have... This has to be the, the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't! Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But... It's almost time for Natsuki to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be a very... I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh... It's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. Is it lagging for you? Can you not see it? No, oh, I thought I read it. No, you said- I look forward to it. <laughs> Maybe you just cut out for me. I didn't hear you say it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got I heard it. Oh, okay, oh yeah. <laughs> Gosh, wow. <laughs> I'm sick about but Yeah, yeah, stop lagging, B. Jeez. <laughs> On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's, far, it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki is about to come over, too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much. We're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. I spend only a few minutes back at home anxiously awaiting Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the front door to let her in. Hmm. What's up? Hey. Right, me. <laughs> I don't yes, know what you. I was expecting. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. Jeez, don't make it feel so awkward already. 
It's gonna be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyways, I'm coming in. I see you brought a lot of stuff. This case carrying a large bag that's probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find out that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You bought everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Good. Glad I could count on you to do... Yeah, glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that, rather than something snarky like she usually does. Could it be that she is a little different outside of school left? Huh? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What, you're not even gonna offer to take this heavy bag from me? Where's your hospitality, Either. Chris? She's Chris. God! Yeah, Chris. But... <laughs> Come on. Since when do I need to be a gentleman? I grab the bag Natsuki holds to me. Holds out to me. This is ridiculously heavy. <laughs> I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? See now. Yeah, I am impressed, Natsuki. It, it seems like I always underestimate you. Because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki hits a fist into my chest. Pow pow. Hey, hey! Your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be small and also better than other people. But... Oh, jeez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't think you can make me talk about weird things just because I'm... just because we're not at school. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. <laughs> what? That's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you speak your mind like that. H hey! Now you are treating me like a kid. I was just... I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know? And just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean that you should treat me like... Uh, Lansky catches her words. Things in her face turns red. Natsuki? Forget it! I didn't say anything! I should apologize. Eh? Uh? I appreciate that... Bah. I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. 
I should have been a little bit more considerate too. But also... If that's what you're thinking... Then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into the body type like your... That are into body types like yours. Uh, how would you know that anyway? Just trust me on this one. Girls... Gross. Hey! Was that to me? Who else? <sighs> Man. Let's just get started already. <laughs> you, uh, you get all sour when a girl calls you gross. I finally found your weakness, Chris! Oh, that's you. So it is. <laughs> Minsky smiles deviously. Please spare me. Help me again. <laughs> well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for now. I'm starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flour, or spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we several times. I know the feeling. Meanwhile, Natsuki's babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baby. Chris, where did you put the food coloring? The batter is going in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. I'm making each tray a different color. That way, even if the flavors aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Ah, that's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like like that with the icing? Do you want to? Uh... You're asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come on! You're not putting any heart into this at all! Can't you at least try to have fun? I am having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki's trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, you see her separate the batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food color into each. Ah, oh, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking is just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun! It's a million times more worth it in the end if it, yeah, if just looking at it makes everyone's eyes light up. Like the ones you made on my first day, eh? Well, Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and Sayori and Monica's delighted expressions. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that, too. Yeah. Maybe I'll use the food coloring then. 
Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We were using the electric mixer for the batter, so we got stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. Uh, the icing's still all lumpy! Are you even trying? Well, yeah. It'll just take a little longer. God, why aren't you an electric mixer of a human? That's so rude. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that! Here, look! Alice grabs a whisk from me and uses, uh, uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it! After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? As if, it, as if to emphasize, Natsuki sticks, sticks a finger in the icing and pops it in her mouth. I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey! Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? start to fight Ben, trying to inch my finger toward the bowl. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next! I'd like to see you try. I push harder, just enough for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some with my finger, just as Natsuki tugs with all her might. Uh. The force of Natsuki pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. Gross! You got it on my face! And whose fault is that? There's a big blob of icing on, on Natsuki's feet. Uh. She tries to reach it with her tongue. But it's too far away. Jeez! You know what? Take this! Natsuki instead wipes it off and wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger toward my own face. You wish. I'm faster. Hmm. Hmm. -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Nowski tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. <laughs> Stop! Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine! I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I didn't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know? Saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me? You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. I take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth. Licking off the icing. That's rude. Totally a crane. That's a total <laughs> crane move. <laughs> Typical crane move. <laughs> what? D did you seriously just? <laughs> Natsuki is so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get it. Her face is entirely red. shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them you know that 
Right? Uh. What kind of question is she asking me just like that? How did the mood turn to this so quickly? He's obviously not very up to date on dating sim tropes. No, Clearly. apparently not. No. Clearly. <laughs> uh, I... She gazes at me in silence. I notice her shallow breaths. I'm starting to feel dizzy. Ah. Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going off. Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <coughs> no wonder! You left a dirty tray in here, dummy! How could you make a mistake like that? You should have checked before turning the oven on! Don't blame me for your mistakes! Jeez. Vinsky uses an oven to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on top of the stove. I will say, this is a me move. <laughs> Not to turn the oven on when there's a tray in there, but I will absolutely leave a dirty tray in there while it cools down before I wash it. Uh, that is a me move, absolutely. <laughs> in another moment, the fire alarm stops. <laughs> anyway, I'm... Putting them in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads. So, Pirate asked what our favorite... Well, not our favorite, but what's your favorite dating sim? So, I said that mine is Monster Prom. I don't know if you two want to put a little input, if you guys have ever played a dating sim that you liked. Um, I've never played a dedicated dating sim. The closest probable thing for me would be, like, the more recent, like, Persona games. Mm -hmm. Um, so... I also will mm, throw it, out... It, 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 yeah. No, sorry, I, the other two that, like, besides Monster Prom, because I like Monster Prom for the fact that you aren't like you you and a friend can fight over the same person because monster prom is multiplayer um so you and a friend mm. can go after the same person i love that um but i also really like the seduce me the otomo games because there's five demon boys and they're and it's voice acted and it's a hilarious game <laughs> because there's a there's there's an ending where you can ignore all of the boys and just hang out with your friends, and there's also an ending where you can ignore all the boys and end up with a demon lady. Because she's the one who killed your dad. Spoilers. Uh <laughs> oh, yeah. It's fun! It's a Wonderful. good time. So, <laughs> anyways, the tension. But the moment has already been lost. Wait, you didn't ask me. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, Green, what's your favorite dating sim? Yeah, sorry, I got really wrapped up in my I... boys. I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay, because I've because I'm biased, but I actually did voice in a dating sim. Nice. Um Yes, yeah, so I was in I was in one called Caller X Malice. Okay. Yeah, it's it, it's actually on the I think it's on the DS. Oh. Yeah, I think Fun, yeah, I think fun, it's on the fun. DS. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, so, uh... uh I, yeah, that's the one I I, I, I voiced in. Um, I was this red-haired character. Uh... Uh, I, th I think his name was, like, Mineo Enomoto. Fun. It's a little bit of a yeah. mouthful. <laughs> well, I mean, well, they're all Japanese and shit, but... Yeah. 
Well, yeah. It happens. Like, yeah, so, so, yeah, so that one, that one, and I'm, again, outside of that, I don't really play Dating Sims, but yeah, that one's one. I am going to play um, Tears of Themis, like, on stream, so, and then you're going to be the, I will the be, uh, character Kun. I will get character to be Chan. Senpai Chan. I will be Protag Chan. <laughs> Instead of Protag Kun, I will be Protag Chan. It'll be great. Yes, Protag Chan. Anyways. All right. Well, that's it. That's all I have to say. Cool. And break. <laughs> did you With already? The moment break? has okay. already been lost. I did, but I reread it. Anyway. Cool. So okay. fine. Totally chill. And watch as Natsuki slides the cupcake trays into the oven. Then, reluctantly, pick up the whisk and continue with the icing. If nothing ever happened. That smells so good! The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet smelling warm air fills the room. Look at how cute they all look! She proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They'll look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that will make it look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers! We probably won't be using it this time, though. What's this one for? Pick up one of the nozzles that has a much thinner tip than the others. That one's really thin, so you can use it... So you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. But you also can use it to write stuff on a cake. Like, happy birthday, or whatever. I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Huh? Well, it's a literature event, right? Week. Make it more we can make it more literature theme by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It'd be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on the word they like. Um. Hmm? I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid. But that's actually a really cute idea, so... <laughs> Maybe I'm getting it from you. What? What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. You're cute. Gag. <laughs> Come on. We're not at school. Nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Ski's voice trails off. Same with you. Huh? Did you say something? N no, nothing! Let's just do the icing! Nazki picks up the pace and fastens a nozzle on each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so... We shouldn't waste it. We shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do this. Without giving me a chance to think about before, Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing. And then we each get to work. <laughs> this part was not work. work. I know. <laughs> it was like lagging a bit for me, too. I was yeah. like, what? 
When we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are together! Yeah, they are, aren't they? Ugh, I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but... My dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. <laughs> Sayuri's the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, we'd probably be down ten cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much as po much of yeah, need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway. I was hoping we would have time for manga, but I need to get home for dinner. Ah, oh, already? Ah, oh, that's a shame. It's your fault for walking so for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like you're yeah, it's not like you'll always have this chance. Man. As usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. You can bring the cupcakes in tomorrow, right? If you and Sayori each carry some, then you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. <laughs> I, wish you sh I wish you would listen to me the way she listens to you. Uh, uh, yeah. I again think back to the conversation I had with Siori earlier today. I felt so helpless. Siori always does listen to me, but at that point, it felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out, I guess. Just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. Feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that. I even take the opportunity to get closer to her, like I wanted. Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all your help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, wait, Natsuki. Huh? What you said before about not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be, like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere, Natsuki looks at me tensely, like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah. I want to spend more time with you. Chris? I thought you only cared about getting this done. Ooh. I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. 
I feel the same way as you, so... This guy suddenly gets closer to me. Wait, Natsuki. Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutch at, at the sides of my shirt, as if holding on to me. Her rose-colored cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision, along with her slightly parted lips. What is happening? My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breasts against mine. I felt it. For a while now. Oh. Natsuki suddenly jumps back. Sayori! Eh? Uh, hi, Chris. Sayori. Just now, we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Chris. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, well, y you should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so... Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well, I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any of my cupcakes before then. Anyway, later! Yeah. Clearly flustered. <laughs> Natsuki hurries up and Sayori waves goodbye. Sayori. I thought you didn't want to come over today. <laughs> well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know... How much fun you were having with Natsuki. And how close you got to her. It makes me... Really happy. That you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me! Why am I feeling this way, Chris? I'm supposed to be happy for you! I just feel like my heart is splitting in half! It hurts so much! Everything hurts so much! This would be so much better if I could just disappear! Sayuri, don't say that! It's true, Chris! If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori? What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Hearing about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So, even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But... Sayuri looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Chris. I'm really scared. What have you- what are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? 
I was weak and started to like you too much. I didn't- I did this to myself. Chris. I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And... and... That's enough, Sayuri. I don't want to hurt you anymore. Slip my hook down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe in me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings. I know what you need the most right now. That's what I'm going to give you. So, the Choice. two the two Chris's we have currently, which one do you want to <laughs> which one do you want to pick? <laughs> Ooh, well, I know stuff that happens, so I think we should leave it to the real Chris. No, yeah. Oh shit. Um, so, uh, what do you what do you think of there? Let's go. I love you. Okay. Uh, where's the button? There's the button. Hello. I love you. Uh? Those are my true feelings. So. There's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club... Making new friends. And having fun with you every day. It helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll, that's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day. With you by my side. Then I know we'll both be happy. Chris. Suddenly, Sari wraps her arms tightly around me. Chris, is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sari in my arms and pull her close. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Chris. I want to be with you forever. Me too. Uh. I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now? Why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Chris. It's okay, Sayori. We'll see you then! It might take some time for things to get better again. <laughs> I just, okay, side note, I just got spooked <laughs> I'm apparently getting hosted right now. <laughs> oh, oh. And I was hosting you. <laughs> and I just hear J. Michael <laughs> Tatum scream, we'll see you then. Because <laughs> that's my sound effect for that. The most terrifying. <laughs> J. <Jane Tatum! laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. It's okay. Thank you, Pirate. I, another one just happened. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was less spooked by that one this time. We're good. <laughs> oh, wow. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, I love hearing J. Michael Tatum scream, we'll see you then. It's perfect, it's fine. That's why I made it that sound effect. But I was not ready for it, and now I'm good. <laughs> Anyways, Chris. But now. 
But no, but no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. It's all that matters right now. Uh, okay. I trust you. Sayori and I slowly release each other. So... I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't, I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it always been. Even if we really are... a couple... I don't know if I can handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Chris. Sayuri so gazes at me once, once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me. Right? Eh? I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that this, um, that this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I... don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It feels like a bunch of thorns when you told me you loved me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah. I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her, and she loves me. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her. I keep wondering if I should be doing something more, or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give it everything I've got. Sayori is the most important person to me. Do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. Hi, Leek! <laughs> yes, hello, Leek! And yes, the bee is my little, um, I think it's called a Kapumon? Hold on. Kapamon, yes, it's a little what? Kapamon. Yes, on my stream, there's a little bee in the corner, and it's currently asleep, but it wakes up to say hello to anyone who joins the chat. That's just oh. adorable. Wow. Yeah, it's a little baby. Look at him, so cute and tiny. Yeah, so, uh, Crane and I are guest starring here. Uh, he, he's Chagnus Poon. I am his inner thoughts slash narrator. Yes, and we're going to take a uh, quick break. You can explain it. things that have happened while I go to the bathroom. I will be back. Sure. Sure. Meow. Meow, pew, pew, pew. So, to my understanding, this is your your first endeavor with uh, Doki Doki, correct? Uh, me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I haven't gone through it, but I know some critical story beats. Hmm. Yeah. What order they go in, I don't know. 
but I know some story. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay, just just making sure, like I'm understanding this right. Mm -hmm. Do you do you know of uh, Doki Doki's reputation? Uh, I I know that uh, it's a it's supposed to be really freaky, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm I'm just guessing that we haven't gotten to any of the freakiness yet. That is correct. Yeah. Ah, uh, I see. All right. I mean, I, it's it feels rather foreboding. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm just trying to stay a little bit on the uh, the pensive side. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I'm allow I'm sort of allowing it to take me to take me places. Right. I'm like, right. Okay. I I I, I am. So Sayuri is now my boo thing. Mm hmm She your girl. She my girl. Doki Doki. Doki Doki is sus pirate. Absolutely. Very sus. Well, that doesn't give me a whole lot of confidence, now, does it? <laughs> what if oh, I told it, him? I just got it's back. Definitely. Oh, I, uh, it's just that Doki Doki is sus. Yeah, no, actually, I can't. But, okay, uh, I will say that this is this is the uh, trigger warning. This is where it gets the scary parts. This is literally day of the festival is what starts the downward spiral. Oh, day of the festival. Okay, I yeah. wasn't sure when stuff would start happening, but I just no, uh, yeah, I, I remember stuff does start to happen. I made it to this part. This is this is where I was before I started moving things over to like you know my PC and everything reset mm -hmm. this is as far as i got this is when it goes down down spiral <laughs> so oh oh the, dear the trigger warnings i'm giving them that to you now so take care of yourselves do what you need to do <laughs> inner thoughts go ahead with the dialogue <laughs> it's the day of the festival <laughs> <laughs> Of all days, I expect I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. And Sayori isn't answering her phone. I don't like this. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. <laughs> Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. I managed to carry all the cupcakes by uh, myself by carefully stacking two trays. That's dangerous. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Natsuki has already texted me up a storm, but I can't respond. Thanks to my hands being full. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. And I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. Also, have you noticed that there's no music? There is no music. I wonder why. Oh, while we're But here. knowing Monica. Hold on. I just wanted to save really quick. Good idea. Yeah. No, that's, that's a good shout. Uh, but knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great, too. Chris! You're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica's placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that have all the poems we were performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So, that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, uh, she overslept again. That dummy. You'd think that on days this important, she'd try a little harder. Same, but uh, I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful, knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking, but 
Maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Chris. I mean, especially after you exchange, uh, especially after you exchanged with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. Exchange. Wait, how do you know this, bitch? <laughs> Monica, uh, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. But... You stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? Uh -huh. Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason, I felt a chill down my spine after hearing them. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Uh, yeah, sure. I grab one of the pamphlets laid down on the desks. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flip through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flip to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Percentage. Get out of my head, 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 get out, get out of my head. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for me. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Wow. <laughs> uh oh. This feels like me in, in high school, where I'm just like, yeah, you know, I love you, I'll do anything for you, and then she comes out to be a crazy bitch. That's what I was... So, I'm having major flashbacks right now, but... <clears throat> uh... What is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Chris? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. But more than that... I changed my mind. I'm gonna go get Sayori, so... Uh, well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? Quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica, Monica calls out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. 
That's all she needs. And what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. And this is where I thought the last scene was going. Yeah. Now we're here. No, Why now did we're you here. say that? Why? <laughs> Why did you say that? <laughs> uh, when we get closer, I will, I will give Why the... did I indeed? I'll give, like, the true actual trigger warning when it yeah. gets much closer. Um, but... I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. And like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Sayuri? So I'm going to give a trigger warning for self-deletion. Okay. Yep, yeah, yeah. She really is a heavy oh, sleeper. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. 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 I swallow. No. 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 Oh, I know. I no. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. No. I'm waking her up in her own house. No. Oh, no. I know. Oh, no. That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? No. There's no music. No. I know what this in any, is. In any case. Oh, you fuckers. It just feels right. Outside Sawyer's room, I knock on the door. Sayori? No, pirate, don't run away from this shit. <laughs> pirate, no, you pirate, you come back. You come back now. <laughs> I am not experiencing this on my own. Oh, we've got Leek here still. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Pirate, where the fuck are you going? <laughs> no, man, we in this together, bro. Come on. <laughs> shit. No. Leek, you there? Are you there, Leek? Am I alone? Mm. Cause these fuckers already know what's gonna happen. I this is no. No, this is no, this is gonna suck. No. I think it's catching up. I think the stream is catching up for them. No, okay. I'll be with you, Senpai. Alright, okay. okay. Alright, cool. Okay. Alright. Well, I, I just wanna be alone in this because I kinda already know what's gonna happen right now. Like I just it's you know It's okay. I'm mentally holding your hand. You you need to mentally be holding my pulse. That's what you need. To be <laughs> yeah, I'll check your holding. pulse while holding your hand. That's what I'll do for you. Okay, okay. Shit, like I'm not cut out for this kind of <laughs> shit. Deep okay. Breaths, deep breaths. Okay. All right. Okay. Wait. Let me. There's got to be some. There's got to be some wine here somewhere. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hit me. Uh, wake up, dummy. She oh, no this! Oh, you fuck! <laughs> oh, you fuck, fuck! I really didn't have to. Really didn't want to have to enter a room like this. <laughs> Pirate. How about a riddle? <laughs> How about a riddle? How about this? Um, what what has no music, has a black screen, and will not scare me shitless? Like, what is that? What is that? <laughs> not this game. Not this. Is there yeah. kind of a breach of privacy? No, respect but, your privacy, bro. Respect your privacy. Really, but she really leaves me no choice. No, call 911. <laughs> no. I gently no. open the door. No, you... you oh, <laughs> motherfuck. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> you sorry. What did I tell you? I told you not to be listening to crazy bitches. Oh, oh, what is all this? Oh, shit. What the fuck is that? 
Dot, dot, dot. What the fuck? What the... No, no, you should say what the fuck is that. <laughs> is the music glitching? Yes, it is. Yes. Oh, you yes, doki son of a bitch, you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck the you. Hell? Fuck you. It is... <laughs> Did you even is your is your is your stream supposed to be like like mature friendly? Yeah. Is isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's set up. Okay. Like okay. Hey, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Like fuck this is fucked. <laughs> oh, Sayuri. Oh, Sai. Oh, I had so much hopes for you. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> like I knew it. Ooh. Ooh, I knew it. The moment I saw that Aerith bow, I was like, mm, that's some foreshadowing shit. <laughs> like, she's wearing Aerith's bow. Like, like, this, this, this does not turn out well. It, apparently, Ribbon can, can save you from every other, like, status, except for, except for you stabbing or killing your own self. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, Sayuri. This is what happens when I, like, Bear my soul to you. I said I love you. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> Why are you like every other woman who just leaves me like this? Like... <laughs> Fuck you. Really. <laughs> Shit, girl. Shit. Uh, I throw my feelings at you. I catch these feelings for you. And this is what you do to me? Fucking hang yourself? Girl, we haven't even been a couple for like a day. <laughs> All right? I don't know if this is a reflection on me, or if this is a reflection on you. All right, it's Monica. See, I knew it. I knew, I knew that some like it doesn't matter. See, so even Japan knows. Even Japan knows that the name Monica is the is the name of a fucking like like trifling shady bitch. Like they know that too. Like it's oh, it's, this, like a, this it's, was it's actually, like it's uh, like this was a Western developer. Made well, on his own. Then in, they know the style. Then, yeah. then, then it, it it only bolsters my point. Yeah, that's why Monica. It was only bolsters my point. That's why when they made a joke about Monica's name, she was like, "No one in the Western, like no one in the West, is going to understand that joke." Mm. Oh my God, pirate was just like, "You were my brother, Ooh, Anakin. I loved fuck. you." <laughs> okay. You were my brother, Anakin. You were my brother, Anakin. I loved you. Is this a nightmare? But I have the high ground! Is this a nightmare? Is Fuck. this a nightmare? It, it has to be. Shit. This isn't real. Shit. Fuck you. Okay. There's no way this can be real. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck you, game. Sayuri so wouldn't do this. Shit. Everything was normal up till a few days ago. Oh, oh, this, this, oh, I can't believe, <laughs> well, that's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing. Ah, oh, you, uh, uh, Oh, I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. I suppress the urge to... I can't believe you've done this. Oh, Just my. yesterday. I told Sayuri I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best, and then everything will be okay. Why? Fucking sucks. Why'd she do this? How can be so helpless? Oh god, this is so bad. What did I do wrong? Ah, uh, fuck. Confessing to her? Should confess to her. It's not what Sayori needed at all. Oh my god! And now the 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 music is like all dissonant and shit, mm -hmm. playing the wrong damn notes. <laughs> she oh, even told god. me how painful it is for others to care about her. Why did I confess to her? Make her feel even worse. Why was I so selfish? My fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. Oh, this fucking sucks. Okay. Spend more time with her. 
walked her to school. I remained friends with her, like I'd always has been. And then I could have prevented this. No, I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Yeah, screw them. School festival. Yep, screw that shit. I just... He's my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever oh. now. <laughs> Nothing with you can bring her back. We can load. We can load the game, can't we? Let's <laughs> just get through this the black a, screen oh. part real quick. Okay, see? Yeah. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. <laughs> that was very fantastically done. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I know. I'm just like, oh, well, was, that was quite on the nose. I only had one chance. I wasn't careful enough. And I'll carry this guilt with me until they die. I'll make it all about you! <laughs> now it's all about you, huh, Chris? <laughs> Chris, how dare you! I think my life is worth more than hers. And I still couldn't do what she needed from me. Wait, before we continue, you guys don't hear any scream, like, shouting in my mic, do you? A little, a little it's little distant, it's but like I just thought it was like a TV. Screen. Okay, I'm just... You're fine. Yeah. Okay, just just yeah, it sounded just creepy. so you just so you guys know, all right. In case you hear something, I um, because I don't want anyone get banned and shit, all right. I live with a black family. Oh, I knew that. Okay. Yeah. I just want you guys to know that. Okay. No, I want the I want the chat. Mm -hmm. I want people to know that. I just just for That's just fair. for the vod That's or fair. whatever. So you know, the, okay. I live with a black family, and um, you know, like they yell at each other every now and then. So just just know if the n word okay. gets thrown around, it's you know okay, that okay, cool. Cool. All right. That's fine. No words were actually audible. Just noise. Yeah. Yes. And if the if you hear the N word get loud enough, then I might have to respond to it because that 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 might be them calling me. So just I'm just saying. Jeez. Just. All right. Just just so you know that's that, uh, that that that's what that is. All right. I'm just wanted. I just wanted because I didn't. I didn't. I don't know how Twitch like rolls that way. I don't know how they're no. like if there's some sort of weird algorithm and they're watching shit. We, we, we just... were in fact talking about that just a few streams ago. Yes, okay, because like I don't know, like you know, the game is getting me a little paranoid to be some some Monica's around, like <laughs> hearing that shit. So I'm just damn like, Monica's and now damn these Monica's everywhere. <laughs> uh, but all right, okay, let's go. Let's continue. All right, and now there we go. I can never take it back. Never. Is that another never? Yes, it is. Never, never. Never, never. And then another never? I blinked. I wasn't sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Another never. And then another never. Another one. Another one. And then another, another one, one, but this time it has three another points. One. Never. Um, and then, end. However, <laughs> it says end, but, um. Okay. Yo, uh -oh. what the fuck is, oh, what this is happened? some creepy shit. This is some creepy what? shit. What's going on? So let's do a new game. This is some creepy let's, shit. Okay. I hit new game. We, we should what probably log. We what should the probably fuck is oh, oh, we should probably log in a bug report, guys. Like this, God, this. What a bug report! Oh, no. And all of my and all of my saves are oh, gone. You fuck. <laughs> oh, you guys, you guys we should, yeah. Oh, you guys talk. Okay, this is this is this is some weird shit. Okay. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she don't care, like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Oh, you, oh, this sucks. That, that girl, girl is... is my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Can we just do like uh, like 90s and 2000s, like logging onto the internet sound effect every time that pops up? Sure. <laughs> yeah. 
You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. This, oh, this is fucking, okay. Mm. We used to walk to school together on dates like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. And I would get tired of waiting up. It's almost like she's depression. Mm, but she's going to chase after me like this. I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sign idle in front of the crosswalk and I. Okay, so uh, wait, 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 wait. So, so, so. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Okay. Oh, 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 oh! You, oh, you fucking shit! Okay. 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 I get you now. I get you now. Okay. So basically, based. Basically, uh -huh. Monica has been is it just deleted her ass, right? Like that's just that's, that's just what it is, right? She just deleted her ass. <laughs> like that poem makes sense now when she was just like, "Load me, save me," like if you want to beat me, some shit like that, whatever, right? <laughs> like impossible, yeah. Uh, okay, so Monica is like, what is she like? Fucking like game master Deadpool? Like, is this what she is? Like, what the fuck is? Okay. No spoilers. <laughs> okay, I. No, 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 she, she's crazy. No, spoilers. It's I'll, an order. I'll, I'll, I'll just, I will just, I will just, you know, like look at the wingdings and just, you know, like suspend yeah, my disbelief. Look, look, it's an ordinary school like any other. Mornings are usually the worst. Being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Okay. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. Mm, right. <laughs> yes, of course. Of course I have. Of I always tell I myself, it's about time to meet some girls or something like that. Wow. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average on the average while spending my free time free time on games and anime. Your free time? Now I think oh. I think it's actually perfect that I've taken over narration now. <laughs> so now there's that separation oh, look, there. there. My safe <laughs> slot is gone again. Just gonna Wow, yes, this is uh this is great. This is great. You get this is um uh it's so I'm good. perfectly content. Oh yeah, I read this. Just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime, like everyone else here. Right. Hi, <laughs> There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. Yeah, it's girls just, hate anime. No it's fact. Just boys mm. with rat tails and oddly spiraled glasses for no reason. Mm. That's usually the archetype. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. <laughs> I would like one to beat my head. There over. really aren't any that interest me. Yes. <laughs> Besides, most of them will probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club bunch of degenerates chris oh shit oh oh monica fuck uh hi monica oh my goodness i totally didn't expect to see you here i totally forgot you go here um it's been a while right oh uh... what, what, what's that phrase it's uh sashi buri bane with the I know, that's what I heard. It's like, It's been a while. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I said, uh... No, I know. Yeah, it has. I was itching my eyeball. Monica smiles sweetly. Swiles sweetly. Yep. Exactly. We do know each other. Well, we really talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, 
beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. Can, so, uh, can I can I just fuck this girl and call it a day? <laughs> now that that's all oh, too simple. Uh, oh, no, I like like look. There's no one in the classroom. Just let me <laughs> just let me fuck her. And um, and you know, like we don't have to go through like like any sort of nightmarish scenes. The other four hours oh, in no, this I game, mean, like she's obviously she's obviously thirsting for me, and I feel like you know, you know, I can I can take one for the team and just like like hey, give this you know, you give know. this girl ID, and you know she will, and and I will save lives. Maybe go out on a date, go see a movie, like uh, uh, Groundhog's Day. That'd be no, great movie no, 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 I've, no, I've dealt with bitches like this. They, 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 you know, they, they need that good dude. And, uh, and, you know, to, and I just need to save the rest of the class. That's, just one and done. For, for, for the greater good? Yeah, if my dick can be, like, if my dick can be, like, the sword that can save the world from this if your, dick, if your dick can save lives by gum <laughs> okay but like oh, yeah i feel like that should be said in like the if there was a child in right in front of you what would you do it's like if your dick could save the world what would you do and she's like what's a dick <laughs> you are you little mm. shit you're a dick little shit that's what you do <laughs> anyways Chris, speak to the AI. Fuck. What did you come in? For? What did you come in here for anyway? Definitely oh. not this dick, right? Oh, I've just been looking for some some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> About that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, God. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um... <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's, it's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know. Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean... Video games. <laughs> Death. <laughs> Death, destruction, pain. Yes. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah. It's funny, right? <laughs> she always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? I'm just saying she also joined the club, Chris. No. Join the club. No. Join the no, club, Chris. Lately. Please, come. No. Join us. 
<laughs> I enjoy making her sound kind of like a robot. It's fun. <clears throat> become as gods. Become oh. as gods. <laughs> dude, that's terrifying, dude. <laughs> it, is, it is like, especially when they have like their chorus song that pops up when they all start committing suicide. Spoilers. Uh, <laughs> like it is terrifying, but catchy. <laughs> yes. You're like listening to the song like, mm, yeah, this song slaps. Become as gods. Wait, what? <laughs> eh, that is a banger. Jumps in lava. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Monica. Hey, Chris. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh. <laughs> I mean, I guess so, but. In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me very happy. Please. Also, notice that the music has not been on a perfect loop. <laughs> Which is out of places now. Uh -huh. <laughs> um. Because there's something missing. I love it when music can help tell a story. It's so good. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, here, it's just, it just slowed down there. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Yes. Right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> sure. I, could, I guess I could check it out. Awesome! You're really sweet, Chris. You know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I... I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. <coughs> and thus, Todd! <laughs> oh, oh, there's more. <laughs> and thus, Todd. <laughs> and thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monka and her irresistible smile. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, sweet. I'm back! And I brought a guest with me. Uh, a, a guest? Seriously? You brought a boy? We didn't kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Chris. Um... No words escape me in this situation. This club... is full of incredibly cute girls! So, let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? Uh, no, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Uh, anyway, this is Natsuki. Energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Okay, Yuri. so she's 
the vice president now. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, uh, it's nice to meet both of you. So, I ran into Chris in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica! Please stop. Please stop. Please Didn't... stop talking like that. <laughs> freaking, me, freaking me the fuck out. <laughs> Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to... Special... Well, you Get know... Guys. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I just keep... Alright. Calm down. Laughter. We're fine. Well, you better read. You better. You better read her out like she's a normal bitch. Because you know, I'm. Uh, mm. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Chris? Sit with us. <laughs> the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Here's the thing, I just imagine Crane just balled up in his chair, rocking back and forth. I know you're not doing no, that, yeah. but oh, currently- No, don't imagine me, no. <laughs> God. Yo, I'm telling you right now, you you continue on this shit, this, this gun blade is gonna look real friendly to me. <laughs> just, 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 just... just yeah, come okay, all the way to Ohio, use it on the No, I was gonna use that on me. Oh. That's what the fuck yeah. that shit is. I was gonna join in Sayuri. That's what I was gonna fucking do. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't do I need to, I need to escape. I need to, I need to, I need to escape this loop. Across the front I need to escape other. this loop. That's from each other. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still feeling awkward. Let me take a seat next to Monica. Smart choice, Chris. So, I know yes. you didn't really yes, let's plan just on make, coming let's here. Let's just make Monica happy. <laughs> but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting be... out all the effort to start something brand new. Sorry, continue. That's okay. I was just gonna say I'm gonna be right back. Oh, okay. Have fun, Chris. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> fun. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki, oh, we're Natsuki good. reluctantly agrees. Yeah, sorry. S such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Totally forgot that Luke left for a moment. <laughs> Monica must have really must have hurt, well, worked really hard, hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the, the teapot in the middle. <clears throat> You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Okay, cool. Hold on. I have to cough. <coughs> Ooh, there we go. Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. 
Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, uh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. <clears throat> I believe you. Well, tea and reading must not might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiled to herself in relief. So, Chris, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Oh, Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the, since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, uh, I read a horror book. Once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> I'd expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror! Oh? Why's that? Well, I just... <clears throat> you know, Natsuki, I hate horror too. <laughs> let's, let's just hate horror together, yeah? Yeah, please? <clears throat> Natsuki's eyes dart over me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind in the la uh, last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. 
Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you write... do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Uh... Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Uh... I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well... I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the resp responsibility of Vice President after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree? Do you agree as well, Chris? Uh, hold on. There's still one problem. Huh? What's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I've literally come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, uh, mm, I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but... I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> eh? The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I... Guess I need to tell you the truth, Chris. The thing is... We don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival... Mm. I... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I'd feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. Sorry, the, the screen lagged. <laughs> no, that's fine. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Oh my goodness! Really? Do you really mean that, Chris? Yeah. But do you really? Oh do shoot, I didn't really mean to really click mean? that again. My bad, sorry. <laughs> oh no, 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 that's fine. You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, 
if you really just left after all this, I would have been super pissed. Chris, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can... Yeah, so we all can share. Monica looks over to me once more. Chris, I look forward to seeing... Yeah, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> we impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing writing skills. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri clean, cleans up what he said. Guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica, and no one else. <laughs> no one else to think <laughs> about. I, and, and no one else. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances. And I'm sure good fortune will find me. Oh, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. You've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Yes. Oh, Jesus. I can't convince myself to go to therapy when I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'd rather keep this up until I blow my cover and someone takes me to the emergency room. What the fuck? Well, they, they just need to pick a better format. That was pretty sloppy. <laughs> so, uh, do you want to go for Yuri this time? <clears throat> or, wait, no, we have a guest! Luke! Which girl would you prefer to go Me. after? Oh, um... We did not ski oh, last time. Oh, I'll you definitely, Yuri. Okay, so we're gonna go with Yuri. We did not ski last time? Yeah. Yeah, go with Yuri. Yeah. Alright. So... What I mean, do you think I, Yuri I know would in, like? in the what? Oh, let's see. Uh... Because the first thing that came to my mind was... Unrestrained? But I don't know why my brain shame. went there. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, uh, do we have? Is it one one choice per page? Yeah. There's or... there's twenty words we can choose, and it'll it's randomized each. Oh, okay. Time. So we get one word on quote unquote each page. Okay. Um, I don't know. I feel unrestrained is a little bit more Natsuki. Mm -hmm. I know strawberry. Mm -hmm. so... is a Natsuki thing. Maybe essence because it's all. Yeah. Oh, so we're, yeah, we're so we're not skiing it up again. No, we're no, not we're yurying hmm? we're yurying it up this time. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that that shouldn't be too hard. Just pick all the words that don't sound cute at all. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, going, pretty much. I'm thinking essence. So probably essence. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Yeah. Essence. Uh, lipstick because she's more Tra tragedy. 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 Cool. Good. Good. Hopeless. Hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> um. Um, misfortune. Misfortune. <laughs> death. Disarray. Disarray. Oh, death. Oh, absolutely. Uh, death. Um, oh, death. Oh, fuck. Death. Yep, it's her word. It's there. Um. Yeah. Explode. Depression. Depression. Oh. Do you want to explode or just 
depression. Oh, lust. Go depression. lust. I want to see who's that. That's, mm. that's probably Yuri. That is a Yuri word. Go lust. lust. Is a Yuri word. Oh, it is. Well, yeah. Um, um, graveyard. 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 Uh. Oh, lovely suicides to select them. Yep. Oh well, fuck. Wrath. Fuck <laughs> that word. Wrath. Are we thinking wrong? Suicide, really? Oh. I went with wrath. Um, horror. Socks. Likes... I just want to say socks. Do you want me to do socks? I'll do socks. <laughs> I just, I just, just because it's an option. Yeah, I did it. It's a not so cute thing. Um, okay. Wait, uh, do me a favor. I figured. Wait, wait, do me, wait, can you do me a favor? Can you hover over a word? Just hover over. Okay, now hover over bouncy. Like, hover over it. Okay, I th I thought that the color yeah, would yeah, match. I thought the color would tell me. No. No. But I'm thinking it Inferno apparently. or Disoriented. One of those two. Which one? Which mm. one do you think? In let's go Inferno. It's a big word. Why not? It's yeah. probably Natsuki, but it's fun. No, it was a it was a Yuri. It was a Yuri word. Really? Okay. Yeah, because yeah, because because Natsuki not. Atsuki is a. Uh, she doesn't like big words. Yeah. Mm. That makes sense. Um, that check. Destiny. Out. Destiny. Destiny. Judgment. Effulgent. Effulgent. That's where my mind went to. Um, Contamination. Agonizing. Yeah. Now, now we're just going for the largest words. Imagination. I'm going to go Misery. Vertigo. Anxiety. Massacre. <laughs> uh, philosophy. Um, Intellectual philosophy, uh, infinite. Infinite. 